Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do the tutorial for this fun little folio that I showed you guys in my last um, video um, that you can store photos in. If you didn't see that one, um, uh, you can go back to the last video and see all of the ones that I created. But this is what we'll be making today. So just as a reminder, let me just open it up. I just got my nails all Halloween. It matches this little folio. <laughs> okay, so, oh, oops, hold on. Let me open it. Okay, so it just has a little tie closure on it. And we're gonna do some photo mats because you can store photos in here. So it just unfolds like this and then it closes and it has a front and a back and you can um, use up to seven pictures if you use this back piece, but if not, it would hold six, uh, four by six uh, pieces of paper. So let's just get started. So one thing that is different about the one I'm gonna show you today, cause I just wanted to use some older paper that, um, that I could just use it. Uh, this is not double-sided paper. I did use double-sided paper on all the ones that I created. So you do need one piece of 12 by 12 paper. Of course, you'll need a scoring tool. You will need um, to uh, put the photo mats in. You will need eight pieces of five and three quarters, which that's what this black piece is. You need eight pieces of that five and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then you will also need eight pieces of five and a half by three and a half, which that's what this piece of paper here is on top, the one that has the pattern on it. So of course I'll leave this in my description box. Um, but like I said, you'll need eight of each. This is what you're gonna use to create your photo mats. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. Oh, the other thing you will need, of course, you'll need like a tape runner. You can use hot glue. Um, but for the photo mats, I used a tape runner. You will also need some ribbon. Um, I just cut a small little piece um, just for the sake of the video because I don't want to uh, waste a whole bunch of ribbon. But you'll need two pieces that measure maybe about, um, I would say like eight to nine inches so you can tie a little bow at the end. I, I would go with like maybe nine inches and then tie your bow and then you can decide, you know, how big you want the bow. Um, but two pieces of that and then that's it. So this is really, really simple to make. So the first thing that we're gonna do, it's not even too many scores. The first score line that we're gonna do is gonna be at the six inch mark. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, if you're using directional paper, the six inch mark should be on the side, that, on the way that you want your paper facing. So this is the way I want the paper to face. It's not upside down. Um, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do my six inch score mark on this side of the paper. So just be really thoughtful about that when you're um, doing your score. So we're gonna do a six inch score straight down the middle. That is the only score that you are going to do on this side. You're gonna turn the paper one turn, I say quarter turn, but it's just one turn um, to the right. Um, you can do it to the left or to the right, it actually doesn't matter. Um, but I just did one quarter turn. So we went from here and did one quarter turn. <coughs> All right, and then the next scores that we're gonna do, there's only a couple scores on this side as well. So we're gonna score at the four inch mark, all the way down to the bottom. And then we're also going to do a score at the eight inch mark. So I wanna make sure I'm all lined up. And that's it. So then you turn your paper right side back up and then you have your six inch and then you have a four inch score and an eight inch score. That's all the scores that you're going to need to do. So we can go ahead and move this out of the way. Okay, now for your paper, you're gonna go ahead and fold it on the six inch mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that right onto the six inch mark. So it's in half, and then you're gonna do one more fold. You're gonna fold 
Now, again, if you're using directional paper, make sure you fold the side that is the top part of your paper. So this is my top, so I'm gonna fold this at the four inch score mark. I'm just turning it backwards for the sake of the video because I, ha I have to be able to see what I'm doing. So again, this is your top. You, you did the fold on the four inch and you still have your six inch. Now, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna remove out this whole entire section right here. Um, this is gonna be on your left-hand side if your paper is facing you and it's in the correct direction. Now, I did use my um, paper trimmer so that I got a very perfect cut, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna use scissors. I would recommend doing it with a paper trimmer so you get a perfectly straight line. <coughs> so we're just gonna cut from the bottom up to the four inch score mark and then over. Do not go the other way. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna cut manually by hand up to that four inch score mark. And hopefully it'll be semi straight. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it this way and then I'm gonna cut this little section out up to the six inch score mark. And you'll see what I am talking about. Okay, so now you have like an upside down L. This is correct. <laughs> so everything's facing the right way and it's looking good. So the next folds that we're gonna do, so we've already folded this cause we folded at the uh, four inch mark. So we're gonna fo keep folding that toward, I mean, away from yourself, and then you're going to fold this flap back towards yourself. So now you have the folio, okay? Now, I it doesn't bother me, but there is about, I would say like maybe an eighth of an inch um, that would be still showing um, once you do all your folds. Let me make sure I'm folded flat. There's a little bit that would be showing here. I don't mind that, but some people may. Now, it also looks strange because there's white paper and it makes it look super duper obvious. But what you can do, and I'll, sh I'll show you what to do to cover that up. But if you look at mine that I've done, I mean, it's just a little bit. And then I don't know why it's like sometimes bigger than other times. But on this particular piece of paper, um, there's this like, uh, the tiniest little bit of overhang. So that doesn't bother me personally, but like on this one, it's it's a little bit more noticeable. So I'll show you what to do to take care of that. So in the meantime, let's just go back. And I did, I only matted a few only because I don't wanna waste a lot of paper and I wasn't intending on making another one. So what you'll do is, and again, you'll have eight of these, eight, backed pieces of photo mats. So you're just gonna lay them on here and you're going to adhere them down to the paper. So of course you would have one. And then when you flip it over, your other four will be for the back side. But leave these two for very last because you gotta get your ribbon in there. So do, when you do it, do these four and then do the bottom two and save these for last, which is your back cover and your front cover. So back front cover. Okay, so I am going to just do a couple of them. I made a couple of photo mats. Hold on, let me get my tape runner. Just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. This paper is really old, but now I'm looking at it. I'm like, hey, this is kind of cute. Maybe I should have made one. <laughs> I like the, the black and the yellow. Okay, so you're going to put some tape put more than that and make sure I'm not I don't want to waste tape either so make sure you get close to the edges on all of them and maybe put some in the center so I'm just going to lay one in here just for the sake of the video so just kind of line it up in between your boxes and just go ahead and add it in there and so again you'll have four of these now for the back covers what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it again so that the L is facing the other way. 
back cover, front cover. So now what you wanna do, let's do the back side first, is we wanna put a little bit of hot glue so we can put our ribbon on there. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of hot glue. Just kind of imagine where center is and just put a little bit of hot glue there and put your nine inch piece of ribbon on there. All right. And then we're gonna take another piece of our photo mat and then we're gonna adhere this on top of it. That's what we're gonna do next. And again, I'm not gonna use too much tape because it's not really gonna be a real one. So I'm just putting a little bit, but obviously when you guys do it, do it with lots more tape than that <laughs> and get very close to the edges, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and add this little photo mat on here, which is gonna be the back side. Now we're gonna do, this is the front cover. This is the one that's gonna be in the very front. So we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna take a little bit more hot glue. Again, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Just do a little line. And we'll add our ribbon on here. Oops. Try not to burn your finger like I just did. <laughs> All right, now. For that little tiny gap that was showing, I took a piece of this black paper that is the same length as the back piece of the paper, the one that is five and three quarters by four and three quarters. This was just a little bit of extra that I had, but it's the same exact length as this. Then I took a um, edge punch to make it look really cute. And then what you can do is you can adhere it like this so that little bit of overhang that you're gonna see it will be covered up by this cute little fancy trim so i'll just add that on there so you guys can have the the full feel of it how it would look and just make sure that it's the same length as the back piece of paper and i've done it this way as well just depends on how i'm feeling and how it lines up, whether I'm gonna do it or not. So I'm just gonna add that. I just added it to the back. That's all that I did. So now you have this nice little trim that'll cover up that little space that was there. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of this tape runner deal. I'm not even gonna waste any more tape. <laughs> All right, and then you're gonna glue, again, this is your front cover, and we're just gonna go ahead and add that, center it up as best as you can. And then tape it down. So when you flip it back over to the original side, now you have this where you can fold it in. Of course, you're gonna have all your mats done on all of the panels. And then when you go to close it, you see now that little kind of overhang that was there, you can't see it because this little trim, and I must've cut this too short because normally it's closer to the edge. I probably cut it shorter than I needed to. But anyways, um, that's how it would look if you put that little, piece of paper right there to kind of cover that up. So, and then the last thing, you can just go ahead and tie a little bow on there. And it's done. I may have cut the string too short because I, again, I didn't want to waste too much materials because this is not gonna be a real one. So, and then you have a little bow. My bows are a little bit bigger. Um, only, and I, again, cause I cut a really short piece of ribbon just for the sake of the video. So that's how it would look once it's all completed. You have all your panels on there and then you can just go ahead and, um, I think I cut this at <laughs> a shorter length, but they should be, the, the real measurements is five and three quarters 
by three and three quarters. So, and it would be closer to the edge of the paper, kind of like um, this one. There's just a little tiny gap that would be there once you add the little photo mat on there. Not so big, I probably cut it too short. So anyways, that's how you create it. Um, super easy and super fun to make and really cool to give to somebody and, you know, use all your fun little paper and all that good stuff to decorate it and make it look all super cute and then they have this cool little folio all right so if you guys have any questions please let me know um you can leave me a message in the comment section if you have any questions but i will talk to you guys all very soon and uh, don't forget to watch the video before where i show all the cool uh ones that i created if you haven't had a chance to look at it so i will talk to you guys all very soon Bye. And again, check the um, description box where all the measurements will be there. Bye.